Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 for another video in the Road to Horizon 4 series. Uh, so you join me in the garage uh, looking at my Toyotas because of course in the new game there are no Toyotas because uh, Toyota have basically withdrawn themselves from everything uh, and that also means we don't get any Lexuses because they are Toyotas effectively. Uh, so we get a few Toyota racing trucks because they're from the racing division so it's a bit different but all these road cars we don't get and another thing that was a surprise because if you don't know the full car list came out earlier this week I think uh, another brand that's missing is Mitsubishi and I, I don't know why Toyota we kind of knew would be missing because it wasn't in Need for Speed or the crew or anything but Mitsubishi is a bit of a surprise so I thought, uh, might as well go and drive all of these on Horizon 3 uh, before the new game comes out and we can't drive them. So we've got, well I've got three Mitsubishis here, a couple of Evos and a uh, Gallant. I don't think I have a Lexus on here actually. Oh I do, I just don't have an LFA which is the one people would want to drive. What I'll do is I'll go out for a quick drive in the ones I do own and then head to the auto show see if I can buy any more Lexuses, Toyotas or or um, Mitsubishis which was the one that was a surprise to most of us because people are, well often, are very clearly either a Mitsubishi fan or a Subaru fan now all the Mitsubishi fans are going to have to drive Subarus in <laughs> Horizon 4 because it's probably the closest alternative. Anyway. Let's drive this thing. I mean this this one I'm not too worried about. I mean look how ugly the front of it is. But <laughs> things like the LFA it's a shame. Oh, I know it has a quite a big fan base, the LFA, doesn't it? And the Evos I'm going to miss. The Evos I'm going to miss and some of the Toyotas. I'm not too worried about the Lexuses. But apart from the LFA, which is only nice to drive because of the noise it makes. This car actually won, and several times I've tried to sell it on the auction house, but nobody's bought it. So I'll just go up one of these roads, do a little loop back round, and get in an Evo or something. Which personally I find more interesting. Oh, that was close. This car has quite a lot of power as standard. I was wondering whether it would be quick enough. Oh, don't hit that. It's not bad, is it? Okay, typical Ferrari driver. Right, let's see what I've got in the way of Evos. I know I've got the red one because I drove that one we were at um, Lizard Mountain. But Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi. Where are you, Mitsubishi? Well, I, I know where you are. You're near the other end of the list. McLaren, Mercedes, Mini. Mitsubishi. Oh, that's nice. And I've never driven it either. 
Well, I'll do like I did with the other Evo when we drove that Blizzard Mountain and see what we can do in the way of customization on this. I mean, look at that. Oh, seriously? Can't even see the engine. Ooh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> rally car body kit, body body kit preset. I'm so tempted, but you lose that nice rear wing. You can probably put it back. Let's see. Yeah, because I really don't want to change that rear wing. <laughs> oh, there's some mad ones. Kind of make it into my own rally car then. Sure, somewhere we've got the. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. All carbon. No, I've got carbon on the other one. Let's go with that. And I've kept my rear wing. Perfect. Actually, what I need is some rally tyres. Where is it? Tyre compound. Oh, there is. Hot wheels. Off road. There you go, put some off-road tyres on it. Actually, no, we need to make those nice wide off-road tyres. Put some off-road springs on it and some race brakes. There we go, that should be good. Actually, we'll, we'll put a roll cage in, why not? Nice. That just works on this car. And a lot of cars' roll cages look terrible. And I'll do the anti roll bars as well, and it'll drive nicely, hopefully. I need to paint it. It's a bit plain white at the moment, isn't it? Somebody will have done some kind of amazing rally that's kind of racing, but still surely somebody's done the classic yeah, kind of like that more like that I quite like that one. Oh wow. That would be cool if I'd gone with a more street spec car. I think that's the best one. I mean, look at that. I could have painted it blue as a bit of a joke because super blue, but this is supposed to be a goodbye Mitsubishi. Well, and Toyota and Lexus, but a good goodbye Mitsubishi video, so I might as well drive a nice one while I'm here. I mean, look at that.
How good does that look? Especially in its proper paint scheme like this. Well done, whoever made this livery. It's amazing. Oh, that's quite funny. Look, under the 17 it says PlayStation. <laughs> Sorry, Forza. I mean, presumably it was actually sponsored by PlayStation. Let's go this way. Oh, wait, hang on, no train. Give chase. I was thinking maybe I should have improved the performance of this thing, but they're fast as they are. That rally suspension means, oh, we can go over the train tracks with easily. I thought we were going to hit a tree there. Which, of course, rally cars seem to do a lot of the time. And then narrow rally tracks. No, I can't go on interior view. I mean, I want to see this lovely livery from the outside. This is 130 miles an hour, and this car is in entirely stock apart from suspension and chassis reinforcement and stuff. We've overtaken the train. By train. Oh, well, we can hit 150 here. Ah. Oh. We could have done if I wasn't such a terrible driver. Actually, no, I want to go around that. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I hope there's some tracks that feel a bit, um, sort of like a Welsh rally stage on Horizon 4. That would be amazing in cars like this. Well, not that we've got the Evo, but in, in rally-style cars. Fence over. Quick, leave! Oh, I actually thought I'd reached the road. Oops. At this point we might as well go back to this other horizon place. And I would say drive the other Evo, but we've driven an Evo, so we might see what the gallant is like. Ooh, a CLK GTR! Only on Forza Horizon would you spot one of those driving along the road like that. You're gonna go for an overtake? I wouldn't advise you, mate. No, you can't keep up with the mighty Mitsubishi. There is no sixth gear. Welcome to the 1990s. Mm. 
Well, that was fun. <laughs> so the thing with these four-wheel drive cars like the Evo, you can just pull the handbrake, slide it around the corner. And there's no worries. Oh, what did I, what did I get? 35,000 XP. Surely that's leveled me up. Oh, come on, give me a Mitsubishi or a Toyota, please. Okay, thanks. Spin again? Oh, I got so much XP, I leveled up twice. 100k. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Somebody's crashed. Really? Here we are. Alright, let's see what that gallant is like. I, I think that rallied as well, didn't it? Pretty sure it did. And that looks so cool now. Should have done that to it ages ago, right. Alright, let's skip all the way to Mitsubishi. Which is here. Get in that. Have a quick look at this and then on to Toyota. I'll leave the, I'm leaving the Lexus LFA till last. In case you're wondering when I'm gonna drive that. Can we do anything to this? We can. Oh yeah, I forgot this was um there was an AMG version of this, wasn't there? Before AMG went purely for Mercedes. I can do that and try and make this into a rally car as well, or a I'm going to see what the AMG kit looks like. I think that's the AMG one. That's the Forza one and that... No. Maybe that's the rallying one. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to put that one on. Ooh. No, it's definitely the rallying one. Ah, you know what, I'm just going to put the full rally kit on, I mean. Oh, rear bump was fine. Spoiler, I did put... Yeah, let's just put that on. I mean, why not? Might as well make it completely mad. Those wheels are awful, I'm sorry. That's rallying ish. They look tiny. You know, because I want to do. No, not the drivetrain. The brakes and stuff. I could it on the other one. Off road suspension, anti roll bars, and the roll cage. Make it look like a proper rally car. There we go. And try and paint it a little bit less grey. Maybe somebody has done an amazing livery for this as well. Well, I hope they have, or even the same guy. It's well done to him. Surely somebody somewhere. Okay, that's sort of a racing car ish. A taxi, really. But that's kind of cool. It's not brilliantly done but well okay that's a bit mad 
That's kind of cool, but that's like subtle rust. Ooh, stick a bomb. Yeah, you see, that's more. I was hoping for. Rally right, right. I quite like that. It's not quite the rally car look, but something a bit different, isn't it? Oh wow, it was actually quite well done. Whoever did this, you've done quite a good job. Okay, it's not it's not brilliant, it's not perfect, but I won't spend too long with this because after all it's the the Evo were all in the miss out of Mitsubishi, isn't it? Not. And this is still a good car, but. Drift zone, not really ideal in a four wheel drive car. Yeah, my best 48,000. That's quite different. Right, let's go back to the festival site. I know I've not gone terribly far, but we've got some Toyotas to drive. Could find a Celica and try and do that in a rally style as well. I might in a minute. I know I've got I've got the Fast and Furious um Toyota Supra, so could drive that instead. Here we are, back at the festival again. Seriously? Is it with this AMG? See, okay, GTR is not an AMG. This car's the AMG. Where are those Toyotas at? Oh, I've got that Supra, which isn't terribly exciting. I've got that, which is fun, and the Celica. We'll take out the Fast and Furious car. It's got a drift bonus, so expect some sliding about. It isn't Fast and Furious, is it? It was Horizon Edition, not.
Well, it says orange is the one from Fast and Furious. Maybe I should try that drift zone. Not that far short, my best. 10,000 points, and that was on my first run. Not that I'm going to go for another run, but... Okay, that, that was a crash. Come on, Super. I know for a lot of people this is the car they're going to miss the most. Personally, I've never particularly been a fan of it, but I will still miss it. I and mean, the game's not really complete without a Super in it. That was more of a crash than a drift out, but I'll take the points for it. Let's let those points bank and then... Goodbye, Supra. On the plus note, although we're losing three makes, we're getting VW back, which was of course missing from Horizon 3, so... That's good. And it doesn't quite make up for losing three manufacturers, but... Right, where were we? Toyota. I mean, we've got to drive that. Not that it really matters that this is missing from Horizon 4, because we've got Land Rovers. Which, of course, fit the UK seen much better. I mean this is slow so I'm literally just going to go around here because even if I just went out to do some off-roading that might take like an hour. We've got basically interior in this is. It's brilliant. But it is basically Toyota's version of the Land Rover and we've got a Land Rover so I'll do it for that one. Don't want to spend too long over each car because then we can't. Don't 
There's my modified Celica, which I kind of want to drive, just because I love that car. That one. And it's like purpley pink and it's got flames on it. Who wouldn't love it? And look at it. One of the headlights is an air intake. It's just mad. It's like that old skyline. I mean, how mad does that look? I'm going to miss this thing. This thing's quite good for drifting as well, look. A little bit less power than the Supra, it's kind of almost more controllable. He said nearly losing control of the thing. Okay, before I show quite how bad at drifting I actually am. I head back, but yeah, I'm really going to miss this car. There's a lot of Toyotas I'm going to miss. The Mitsubishi is basically the Evo. But Toyotas there are quite a lot of. Well, that's it. that's it for my Toyotas. I'm going to have a quick look at... No, I'm not going to exit the garage. Well, apparently I am. I'm going to have a quick look at uh, what other Toyotas are in the game that I've never bought. See if we want to buy any. Obviously I've got to save some money for the LFA, so... Actually, before we get there, we need to look at Mitsubishi. They're all quite in the end. Where is it? It's just after Mini. Ah, so we've got the Evo 10. But we don't really care about that one we've got. I'm sorry to sound stupid, but are they not the same car? I mean, I know they're not, it's like the Evo 8 and the Evo 9, is it? And then the Evo 10, and a classic one. But I've got one of those, I don't really need both. They're, they're similar enough. That, though, is different, but I had that. And the Evo 10 and uh, an Eclipse, which, let's be honest, nobody really cares about. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's the Evos, it's these four that I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss that bit. Right then, Toyota. Of course, the GT86, but we don't need to worry about that because the Subaru BRZ, I'm pretty sure, will be in the game. So you effectively get the GT86 in that. That'll be in the game because it's not a road car; it's a sort of racing car. There's a Supra, but I do already have one of the Horizon Edition one, so I don't really need to drive that. That I'd quite like to get and drive, if I've got enough money left after buying an LFA. And the same with that, because that's just a classic, isn't it? So if I've got, was it 50,000 for the pair of those? I'll do it. Let's go and see how much the Lexus is. I went past it. Oh, 400. That's not too bad. There's some other Lexus. Oh, there's an old Lexus. There's some other Lexus here. There's an ISF, a GS350F Sport, and an 
IS 350F sport. Oh, and an RCF. RCFs are quite nice. How much is that? Let's get this and the RCF. Oh wow. Somebody's done a gazoo racing one. Let's be honest, we don't really want to do that. Blue or yellow or red. Almost all of them are real or oh, oh, brown because it's a Lexus, but they're almost all white. It does look pretty good in black though. I kind of think they look good in white. I know I was saying let's not do it white because they're all white, but there's a reason they're all white. They look they look brilliant in white. So I will be driving this last thing in this video. I'm saving it for last. That V10, the performance of it, the noise of it, everything. Look, and it's got the wing, uh, the wing up when you explode it. Look at that. That's so cool. Not that you can see much in a modern engine, but there, there is a naturally aspirated V10 there. Right, let's find. the other Lexus. That one was cheaper than I was expecting, so... I think that's the one I've got, or that might be the one I've got. I've got one of these ones already. One of these four-door saloon ones, and they all look the same, I'm sorry. The RCF, though, is a two-door coupe. It's a little bit different, so we'll get that. And we can drive that and sort of I'll build up to the LFA. Oh wow, you can have it in orange. And, and look at that colour, that's just so... Well, I wasn't expecting to see that colour, so we'll paint it orange. Why not? If the manufacturer says it can be orange, it can be orange. Right, what else did I say I was going to buy? There wasn't anything in the way of Mitsubishis that I wanted to buy, so... There's a couple of Toyotas I thought I should get hold of. Oh, I mean, look, the engine bay looks better than it did in the LFA. But the LFA, the engine's so far back for weight distribution. Right, that's it in the way of Lexus, so let's head to Toyota. Buy a couple of those, drive those, then drive the RCF, and then drive the LFA. Yeah, that we've got the Subaru, that we're going to have anyway. It was the Celica and the A86. Because this can be turned into an epic rally car. As somebody will probably have proven by doing the Castrol livery. There we go. I don't think it's a very good version of the cap. Uh, okay. They're all a bit like that. A lot of people have tried to make the Castrol livery. Which one do I choose? Probably just go for the most popular one. That's probably the closest. As for the A86, it's best in the colour it's in. I'm not sure how it'll perform in its absolute stock form, but 
Well, it's still an iconic car, so... That obviously needs some rally bits putting on it for it to properly look... properly rallying. Oh, oh dear, the Toyota cars bit on the front there is really messed up. Overall, though, he's done a pretty good job, so... Actually... Oops. Ah, oh, that's all we're going to get, really? And then we have to go all the way to Toyota again. Can't I just remember where I left it? I could have just gone the other way. It would have been quicker, wouldn't it? There it is. Last car I'm going to buy. And I'll be back on some driving again. People actually done... Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I, that's what I kind of wanted. We'll go with that. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Perfect. We'll drive this first, I think. Because it's already kind of how I want it. Does it only have writing on one side? It's only got the text on one side. That might be how it was. Can't actually remember. Right, so it should be good at drifting, but I don't think it's got enough power at the moment. It's not too bad if you pull the handbrake. Okay, it's actually pretty good if you pull the handbrake. Right, let's head on to some proper roads. Yeah, how could I forget the A86? This'll be... This'll definitely be missed in Horizon 4. Well, if you really want to drive it, you just head on to Horizon 3, I guess, but... doesn't really solve the problem. We want it on Horizon 4. Come on Toyota. You really need to stop being difficult with these games. Because in the end that's why we don't have Toyota and Lexus. It's because Toyota don't want it. The Mitsubishi I have no idea why that is because people only really knew that after the car list came out earlier this week. But for Toyota, they just need to sort themselves out and let people drive their cars on games. So it can only possibly be good for them. It's just bad publicity if they don't allow it. If they do, all it is is an advert, so... Nobody really knows why they're being difficult, I don't think. This, this car will be missed. Probably as much, if not more, than the Super, actually. But anyway. Time to get that Celica rally car built. That went well. Yeah, this car is a bit underpowered. It was good in the corners when you try and slide it, it just needs a bit more power behind it. Yeah. 
And here we are, back at the festival to take the Salika out for a spin. If I can find it again, right, let's get this way. There it is. Just need to make it look a little bit more like a rally car. If we can. Okay, that's weird. Make it look like the standard one. Is that more of a rally car look? That one. That's a little bit better. Oh, that's been made for that one, hasn't it? And that's how you tell. You can see which kit it's been made for, the livery. What about wings? Has it been made for... Oh no, it's clearly not been made for... Could have been made for that one. I don't think it was made for that one. It's either made for that one... Or that one. Oh no, it was made for... So it's got the castrol thing on the side. They obviously kept that wing on it. I'll do that then. Ah, the Toyota cars thing works on that one. So he's clearly made it for that kit. What about the bonnet? Yeah, we want, we want that one. Now I've just got to put like the rally tyres and stuff on off-road, make them wider, change the wheels, we'll put those same ones on there, rally enough, those, and then we'll do the brakes, suspension, roll cage, that sort of stuff, just the same as I've done with the other ones, the other cars. Another 25 case. This car's cost me 50k in the end. Never mind. It's definitely worth it. Here we go. I know I said this about the Supra and the AE86, but I'll definitely miss this one as well. In its full rally car form like this. Although I've driven it much in here, given that I've only just bought it, but... Ooh. There's a lot of rallying that's going to be missing with these cars not being there. I know there's plenty of other rally cars, but... Jump. Yeah, I'll miss this almost as much as the 
probably more than the Supra, given I don't particularly like the Supra, but generally people miss the Supra more, I think. But yeah, it's the same thing, I just don't know why they're not allowing their cars to be in games anymore. They allow them in track racing games, like Gran Turismo, just not in open world games, it seems. Unless they've got some kind of exclusive deal with Gran Turismo, which is possible. Like Need for Speed had with Porsche for ages. Oh, it looks good with the mud on it, isn't it? Real rally car. The Stig. Oh wow. Didn't realise it said the Stig as the driver. That's funny. Anyway, on to the Lexuses, which are nearer this end. L. There you go. Already drove that. So, quick spin in the RCF, then in the LFA. We'll take the LFA straight down the motorway, I think. So we can hear the noise. I mean, this doesn't sound bad with its V8 and the exhaust popping like that, but... Yeah, it's just like that four-door Lexus I drove earlier, except sportier. It feels nice. Whee! Down that way. Down the straight, come on, what can we hit along here? 120, not too bad. Sorry, Toyota. Well, even the Yaris's that are traffic cars on here we're not going to have. Well, although generally I prefer like a BMW or an Audi to a Lexus. Something different about them that's nice. What we're we gonna hit here? 155. The speed most BMWs now is limited to. Oh, 165. Hold it. get to this junction I'm gonna see if I can change cars here. And start the motorway run in the LFA. I think you can do that. Right, where is it? It's quicker just to do that. Get in calf 10,000. You see, that's something that wasn't on Horizon 2 that hopefully will be on Horizon 4. You can just switch cars. I... Just... Okay, just... <laughs> Rolls Royce just doing a burnout, but listen. It's basically the same as a Carrera GT. Loud V10, but...
This is the front engine version. Really? What's wrong with this BMW drive? Well, actually, I was parked over in the zigzaggy bit for a reason. Oh wow, look at that rev counter. At least we've got the Carrera GT for this noise. And but it's a different experience in the front engine car, isn't it? It's more slidey and more modern. I suppose the CGT has a proper manual gearbox, in real life anyway. In the game, that's kind of irrelevant. I'm going to stay in here just so I can see that rev counter. Oh no! Ready? Green. Red. Go, what we're gonna hit. Please say I can hit 200 without crashing. Oh, Oof. that was close. No, 194. Downhill. There we go. 200 in the Lexus LFA. Perfect way to finish this video. In this car, the noise, the speed, everything. Even the way it looks, and I don't particularly like it, but it's so different to everything else. Definitely going to be missed. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll be continuing this series until the game comes out, or at least a demo of it or something. <laughs>